Okay, here is a super quick tutorial on how to place logos in Quill 3D. Or Marvelous Designer. Press the, that button right there, and grab your logo, select it, click on the 3D view. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. That works great for me. And then you can resize from here. Just hold shift, press on the little dart doohickeys, and then you can add as many as you want. You can place, let's say, tiny text down here, make it tiny, and there you go. And then you have your logos placed. Go to the UV editor, select everything. I already did this, but you can fit UV from zero to one. And that, if, that way if you have like a bunch of stuff on everything, then you'll capture everything with the next step, which is to bake the textures with this button. I changed the size to 8192. Um, just do whatever makes sense for your scene. I recorded this before, but my AC was on and it was loud as can be. Um, and then texture type, uh, do the diffuse texture. If you have more complicated textures um, via different fabrics, this is how you export those as well. Just save that. And it saved, the dialog box kind of stays up for a bit, but then you can file, export, um, your Ogawa logo to that Alembic. And then under here, you want to make sure you have unified UV coordinates, PNG clicked on, um, but everything else stays the same. Uh, make sure you remember your scale as well. So then, once you export that, you can hop into Cinema 4D. File, is this R26? Yeah, okay. File, merge objects, um, find your shirt that you just exported. Make sure you got the scale right. I gotta go find my shirt. Then you just need to create a new texture. Um, switch in C40 Octane. This will work with any renderer, but I am using Octane. Um, and then go into the node editor, find that image that you just created, and plug it into the diffuse node. Um, you can also do like opacity maps if you want your shirt to look like cloth and then your uh, logo to be like holographic or something. I don't know, get crazy with it. But that's how you uh, put your logo on your shirt.